Punk Revolution! Hey everybody, today we're going to be reviewing Avenade's debut album. It's a whimsical afterlife. That sounds like a freaking, like a evil Christmas movie or something. I don't know. But anyways, so this is his debut album. It is 70 minutes long. Um, he's, a per he's a relatively new artist. He's released a few EPs in the past year, but this is his first full length. It's going to be incorporating... Post hardcore, garage rock, shoegaze, indie rock, noise rock, pop punk, alternative rock, post rock, just a ton of different cool genres and influences coming out through this debut album, which is why I wanted to review it. So let's get the review started. Let's start by taking a look at the album cover. That is a big red urgent, bold album cover that screams you're about to fucking listen to noise rock, and that's exactly what you get, starting with the first track. I frankly wasn't, uh, I'm gonna get rid of my glasses. I frankly wasn't, uh, knowing what to expect when I started this album. So I start with the first track. It's a fairly conventional, fairly simple noise rock slash alternative rock song on paper. You know, the chord progressions are fairly simple. The riffs are pretty pretty simple. There's not too many crazy riffs going on. It's, fairly, it's a fairly simple song on paper. But if you look very closely, you'll see this. That there's actually a lot of subtle creativities bubbling within this, this song that go way beyond a standard uh, conventional rock song. Starting with the tones that Avenade chooses to use, it's a very almost shoegazy indie rock, noise rock guitar tone that's very pleasant, kind of a little bit on the lo-fi end. Very pleasant, very cool, gives it a very nice indie appeal immediately. And then in the guitar solos, the guitar solos are super noisy, and you can just feel Avenade freaking playing these solos, just wanting to fucking explode with creativity because there's just, 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 there's just so much inspiration in him that he just has to let out. And moving throughout the album, that's exactly what happens. We're still gonna get some fairly conventional post-hardcore songs, noise rock songs, but as the album moves on, it's gonna, they're, they're just gonna start, just gonna fucking start borrowing from more genres. There's gonna be parts where it's really catchy and fun and almost pop punk, and there's gonna be parts where it fucking is almost screamo, and then it's gonna freaking calm down in the middle with the shoegaze song, Dear Misery, which sounds like a shoegaze song that could have been out by from like fucking have a nice life or something like that and then there's gonna be freaking 12 minute expansive tracks that are noise noise rock you know climaxing and ambient and then climaxing and just <laughs> basically avenade is demonstrating he has a lot of influences in his freaking brain he needs to get out and that's why this album is 70 minutes long there's just so many things he wants to experiment with and put into one album i love the ambition i love the blend of genres i love all the genres he touches on here and i think he he executes them all uh pretty well so pretty cool album um it is 70 minutes long i do feel like it is a bit um inconsistent within those 70 minutes i hope maybe in future projects he can kind of Mm, just be a little bit more concise uh, and more consistent with his albums just because I, I, it would just be a more consistent album, which in my opinion is a better album. But still pretty fucking cool. Don't blame him for making such a long album because clearly he has a lot of creativity. He wants to do all sorts of shit. And I feel also the production, it is fairly lo-fi, which is cool. It also adds appeal to the album. But, you know, there's times in the album where I want to turn the volume up and then turn the volume down because it's just not mixed and mastered and that well. Long story short, hopefully in future productions he can, he can step up the production quality. But, uh, you know... Pretty, still pretty fucking cool album. I love the blend of genres. I love the influences and inspiration I can hear throughout this album. Pretty fucking cool. It's punk, man. I fucking love punk. It's an 8.1 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, you fuckers. Punk Revolution now!